And we are recording, recording, recording. Kevin's butts in my face, but that's okay. Hey, you guys, how's it going? It's Lester from Lester, Lester from the Nika Poop Scoop, doing here our thing, yo. For now, Kevin is just rummaging through some stuff right now. We have Adam Weist, awesome sauce. Some Bruce Banner, yeah, buddy. Now then, so I'm just gonna talk about something that's coming up the, later on this month. I will be taking my trip over to LA uh, for a card game tournament by Bushi Road. Uh, it is the World Championships for Card Fight Vanguard and also Vice Schwartz. Um, two games that the uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's two games from which uh, Bushi Road made. Um, I kind of got into I saw um, I got into Vanguard uh, from the beginning till up to this point right now for what six years seven years I guess uh, maybe not even probably not even that that long. Um, I did Vice Wars since. Uh, the English version came out, which was like a really long time ago, actually. Uh, probably like maybe a year or two after um, um, Cardfight Vanguard. But anyways, I'm going to be going there October 22nd to the 23rd. So you might expect, you might get a few videos out of me, from me, on um, maybe my cell phone posts. Just me posting random videos. Some random pictures off of it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so hang tight on that. For, so that's a little something that you get for a little bit from me. Um, as of right now, uh, Kevin and I are thinking about starting up our Twitch account. Starting up a Twitch account for us to start. Um, uh, other than just doing our weekly news, possibly weekly video, video game stuff. streams that you guys could would be like to see us do um leave us some suggestions of some games that you like want us to do uh for now we have for us we have a ps4 for availability um kevin you have like an xbox one right yep i also have an xbox one kevin also has xbox one so um, if anything we could probably stream us just fucking around on shooters fighting games or us taking turns playing an rpg game um but really we wanted to do this for you guys for everyone in the um uh, gaming community also if you guys want to um watch us play uh put some games we'll probably go on ahead and give it a check out um i for one have uh, a lot of games i do want to play right now for the year but for now i am currently on my one year ban of not buying games you picked a horrible year i did pick a really bad year there's like a lot of amazing games coming out this year yes. and that makes me mad i am like why did i do this to myself i knew pokemon was coming out this year i knew there were like a couple other games were coming out this year oh man i was so mad when i made that when i made that i'm uh why did you want to do that by the way huh why did you decide to do that uh the reason why i decided to do that is because I was continuously spending all my money on games, if not a lot of other superfluous stuff. So, me spending not as much money on games would actually help me would help me save more money for um, other things. Like for yeah, for like traveling stuff right now, um, other games in the future that I could possibly want, or just small investment into myself that I actually I actually just want to do. Um, also. I'm currently in a um, Gundam model building contest with my friend John, who was here about a few episodes ago. He'll be back at some point, hopefully. He'll be back eventually. Uh, actually, his schedule changed. Now he has his weekends back. Oh, cool. So, like, um, on days where I don't have to work late nights, then I will po I will pick him up and say, hey, let's go do this podcasting. So, yeah, expect a little bit more from um, John appearing. Um, as soon as my schedule's not stupid, really bad, or when I feel like I should do, like, we could probably use, like, some awesome input from him. But anyways, um, I challenged him to a Gundam, make bot Gundam modeling contest to see who could, who could actually build a better customized Gundam, 
we both chose our base and we both revealed what our base is, but we have not shown what we are actually going to do to our um, Gundam. And we also agreed to not see each other's progress or show anyone of our progress um, until the end of the year. But like, I originally had it for um, the, the one month of January, but John suggested we do it now or at least in september we did we decided this to do this in september but then we, at the come around like the first or second week of september we ended up finishing our gundams our customized gundams and all we're doing now is just paint job so yeah we kind of it's kind of reason why i wanted to do the one month in january but like you can do is you can bring it on so we can have people vote for like which ones they like best yeah, that's that's also a good idea too. So, um, but like we're gonna have um, like five people actually vote, um, uh, view which one is actually um, uh, which one was actually the better one of the better, better the customs. Um, <clears throat> but we also agreed that uh, there are people who are biased towards certain Gundams. Justice League or Hulk? Which one should we use for the giveaway? Uh, Justice League. I said Justice League. Okay. Uh, so, so we had to pick. So we decided to leave out two specific Gundams out because of two people are really biased. Because everybody freaking loves specific ones. Yeah, because they were like super biased. So well, we had no we had no choice but to set that ground rule up and going. But we could use, we could customize to at our disposal any 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 form of shape. Um, you're gonna talk. You're gonna forget all this stuff once we actually start the video. Watch. Actually, I already started this video. <laughs> so, cool. I'm just giving my insights right now. All right, that works. So I'm. Um, uh, Sorry, I've been in the video so far. I'm trying to find you guys prizes, twin. It's all good. It's all good. Anyways, so right now, me, me and John, we're basic. We're basically done with our customs. We're just, like I said, we're both in the painting process, but I still need to experiment how to paint my Gundam because I'm using instead of like using a um acrylic acrylic I'm a paint and brush I'm actually going to try the spray paint um, uh, um style of painting it uh hopefully it goes well for me because I only pick two paints to actually um uh to actually experiment with hopefully I don't screw this over screw this up it's really bad but I do have like really cool um, custom color palette. But yeah, uh, when we get our five friends to actually um, uh, vote or at least judge to see what to see what actually which one actually looks better, then we'll bring out. Um, I'll have John bring his also, whereas I will also bring mine, and we'll show you ours and what we would like for you guys to do for us is to figure out is for us to vote who looks better in in a way it looks we'll probably put, make a separate video of like an old of a of a stand around where we just have it there and then we'll just camera it like just rotating around it but yeah so look forward to that if you guys are pretty much interested in like how what um, my other hobby is what jo John's other hobby is I uh, so should have been prepared for this. I didn't think you were starting the video already. I'm the worst. No, you're the best. I'm the best. Around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. He's the best! That's awesome. Um, also, uh, what I also got um, in store is that uh, not too long ago, um, not last week, because um, we had to skip out on last week for an episode because... I had to do a really, really early morning shift, and I was not having it. Sleep, de sleep deprivation is stupid. But um, last week was the season finale of the anime Shokugeki no Soma, or in America, how they translated it is Food Wars, and then Shokugeki no Soma. But um, uh, that season ended. Um, I thought it was going to go as far as 24 to 26 episodes. But apparently they uh, they ended it on 13 episodes for this season. If not, they're taking a break. And they might do a part 2 of season 2. Or just go on to season 3. But then again, like, 
I already read. I already read the um, uh, the manga up to its current. Well, not to its current current, but like up to um, however the upload is. <clears throat> they actually caught up pretty much close to the, where the manga is at right now. So I'm assuming that they're taking this break to actually let the manga go on more because there's a whole lot of other stuff too and animation does not take a while for Shokeki no Soma especially if you're just showing people cooking and animating the action and yeah that does not take a while actually uh, also um, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 um, it's still going uh, I kind of lost track on two episodes but I basically know where they're at right now um, they just showed the main character, the main protagonists uh, have now seen what the real um, antagonist is, who who the actual antagonist is. Um, there's at least maybe uh, four or five deaths already at this point. So I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but <clears throat> go check it out. It's pretty. It's actually a really good. Um, uh, part. Um, I actually read it, read it all, so I already know what's happening, but it's actually nice seeing it being animated. Uh, there is uh, another anime, uh, that I would also recommend watching. Um, let's see what I got. Uh, excuse me while I figure this out. Oh, well, I guess I have no more anime. Um, also... I need to stop saying also and um and other and also and another <laughs> these other words that link things together. <clears throat> yeah, it's not the most professional, but I do it all the time. So. Yeah. How professional are we? We're not professionals. We're geeks and nerds. We're not pros at the shit. Who needs to be pros? Yeah, we need to be pros. No, we don't need to be pros. So I know which ones I want <clears throat> to pick out. So but, away, but I think I have them all the way at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> It's like a Magneto number zero, mm -hmm. which I want to put with the X Men game, and then I have a. Uh, oh yeah, also new poster. Bum, ba -da -ba 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 -bum. Yeah, that's old school. Avengers vs the X Men. I bet most people don't even realize that uh, that's Beast on the bottom right. Before he was actually a blue monster. Before he went like to like different stages of blue and uh, different iterations of being Beast. Yeah, that's, that's... Ah, here we go. <laughs> so inconsistent. Magneto number zero to go with X-Men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I just have to find my Justice League one. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Um, I also got some shows um, that I'm currently watching. Um, this is my this is my actual nerd set coming out right now. Not like it's not just all been nerd before. That has not been all, but this is me being super, super nerdy because I actually do enjoy watching this. This is um, this is the Japanese, Japanese kid shows that don't even seem like they're for kids at all. They look like they're for teens and older, but they're made for kids. But I'm talking about two different series from Japan, and they're it's a Kamen Rider series and the Super Sentai series. Two of which. They're both different, and they're they're both around similar, but both different in their own ways. Only because Common Rider is only just either one, one main Common Rider, one main um uh, right, one main um uh, protagonist. If not, they will have like a secondary or or a third. Um, some go up to like maybe ten, but they each have like their own individual um uh, powers. <clears throat> Super Sentai is basically Power Rangers. It's just that in Japan, there is uh, theirs is a little bit more brutal than ours, if not more funnier than ours. Um, like in every way, it's better than the American version. It it kind of is actually, yeah. no, no lie. Uh, but I think the best the best example would be like um, Power Rangers RPM, the ABC the ABC Disney one. Uh, that's the one with the where the, the <clears throat> cars, right? Yeah, that's the one with their cars. But um, uh, that one is actually we, we we took we took theirs their um uh, their uh engine Sentai Go Goangers and we made it into RPM. We basically made ours a Power Rangers Terminators, while theirs was like a happy go lucky um fun shenanigans uh, Power Rangers, which I actually did like 
that one, the Japanese one, more than the American one. <clears throat> Not that I'm being biased or anything, but um, the suit kind of didn't really fit the theme of Terminator. Uh, what else did we did? What else was another one that was? Uh, I don't know. They all they all seem like similar in in some ways, but like that one was like the dip. No, that was the biggest one where it was two different takes, two two different um uh, ideas, but like they're more or less similar in a way, but like they're completely different in their own ways. Uh, <clears throat> for the Kamen Rider series, which I'm enjoying right now. Um, I highly recommend watching, um, there's like different kinds, there, there different kinds of Kamen Riders, by the way. Um, I would recommend, I started off with a, with Kamen Rider W, um, <clears throat> is basically a, de a detective, and they're solving, um, multiple, uh, crimes, um, and the suit's actually pretty awesome. It's actually my favorite Kamen Rider. Uh, mainly because it is my first one. But there's other ones that I would also recommend. I also recommend... Um, if you... If you like fruits, there's one called Kamen Rider Gaim. And it's basically a battle between fruits and... I don't think there was a vegetable in there. But like it's just mainly fruits. Um, basically what... <clears throat> their, their, their gimmick was... Um, using these sort of uh, locks called lock seeds, and you can and you need a comrade but which is also the comrade thing is that each and every comrade has their own specific belt, so everyone has like a rider belt. So like you need a rider belt to become a comrade but each of them is explained how they're somewhat fixated onto just that one specific person. Not not everyone can be a common rider. But every Kamen Rider has their own specific belt. Um, but anyways, um, for Gaim, for Kamen Rider Gaim, they use like these seeds, these lock seeds that has a fruit or um, certain fruits on it. Not not all the fruits, but like some some fruits that are pretty common. Like there's orange, strawberry, banana, kiwi, grapes. Um, the strangest one I saw was Dorian. Which I had no idea what it was. It's the nastiest fruit of all time. <laughs> Experiencing technical difficulties. We will be back in one moment. Yay, now Kevin's back on here. Yay! Uh, awesome. It's not just the Lester show anymore. No. <laughs> so, you talked about the fruit, that fruit one. What was it called again? Kamen Rider Gaim. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. It's actually... It starts off like really, really lighthearted, and then like somewhere in the middle, it gets like it starts, it starts getting more drama, and then at the end, it gets like super, super dark, and I really like that. It was really cool. But um, I know the like, the American one had like two common writers. We had we had um a regular common writer, which I do not remember any of it, and then um Disney picked up common writer, common writer. I think it was Night, and I didn't watch that. Because I thought it was pretty lame, so, and then I and then I found found Common Rider on my own. Um, <clears throat> I found Common Rider through like looking through vi different videos of like different Super Sentai's and like what the hell is this? Checked it out. It was it was Common Rider W, but like the way they transformed was actually pretty sweet. So like, dang, that's actually pretty dope. I should probably check that out. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I don't think there's any anime that I'm really um, watching right now. Other than uh, I went back and started watching Berserk now that they restarted it. Yeah. So, so I'm doing Berserk again. Uh, <laughs> so I mean that's obviously one of my favorites. Uh, so Luke Cage is what I've been watching most on Netflix. Mm -hmm. uh, just about to finish it. Uh, there's some pretty cool Easter eggs in it. I think one of the funnest ones is... Uh, I'm not going to give any of the show away because I think you guys really need to watch it. I don't know how it... To me personally, it's more drama. There's not a lot of action in this first season. And I don't think they picked the best villain to start it off because it's kind of... Uh, just kind of slow in parts. Uh, it's kind of like Spider-Man 
three didn't really pick really good villains. Yeah, it's, and then that seems to be the biggest is- issue with Luke Cage. Uh, I I really was hoping there'd be an appearance by some of the other defenders, but I'm on episode I think twelve of thirteen, and I haven't seen one yet. So the only person, like an hour long, uh, fifty two minutes each yeah, episode. About, I think it's like fifty two minutes. Uh, but one of the funnest, the funnest. Uh, uh, Easter eggs was there's a scene where it brings up the uh, a newspaper article, mm-hmm. and in the newspaper article it talks about how the preacher's son, which is Luke Cage, and his uh, best friend stole a car. But over in the side, it talks about a uh, Doctor Brown that created a thrust capacitor. So it's like talking about Back to the Future, which brings Back <laughs> to the Future into the Marvel Universe, which is pretty freaking cool. Like, nice. totally separate than any other like Marvel Easter egg than what you're normally going to get. So, right? I thought that was really freaking cool. Um, just being totally different. <laughs> Brought Doc Brown into Marvel. <laughs> yeah, and it, he's even from uh, Mill Valley, and in it it says when plutonium is available at every corner drugstore. Uh, time travel should be achievable so and that's just i mean you it's real i don't know how i caught it i was really lucky and seeing it i was like brown time travel what and paused it and looked at it and i thought it was that was just a pretty kick-ass you you just you just needed a moment to yourself like what did i just witness yeah like most easter eggs it's just silly shit like oh uh here's where stanley's cameo was and like in big hero six it's at the very end when uh, yeah. it's at the very end after the credits after the credits yeah. and it's just a picture and then you hear his voice mm-hmm. um, and speaking of Stan Lee uh, kind of sad news for him he's preparing for not being around anymore so he went ahead and filmed his four cameos for four upcoming Marvel movies yeah um, he's he's just about pushing he, it yeah he said he's he's it's just getting harder and harder to uh, film him so he went ahead and decided that he was going to do four at once and I think he from rumors, uh, Infinity War or whatever the next um, Avengers movie might be his last one. I think it is Gauntlet Wars or whatever it is. Infinity Wars. Yeah. I know they decided to make it one movie instead of two, so it's going to be a little bit different than what Yeah. Uh, everybody originally talked about. So, so everyone enjoy your Stan Lee cameos while you still can. Because it is, I mean, it's sad. I mean, event, uh, he's... He's in his 90s. We're, we're he's, not really have, yeah. he's really pushing. He's really pushing. We're not always going to have Stan Lee, but uh, I think always you could get that cameo in. Like uh, in Daredevil, it was like a picture of him. Yeah. And so you could always do stuff like that to remember Stan Lee even once he's gone. But let's appreciate him while we can, while he's here. I think he's doing one more convention. He, he did like Stan Lee's con uh, this year, I think it was. And I think next year he's kind of just done with everything. So um, appreciate him while we can, you know. Go go out and meet him. I mean, I would I would probably be down to meet him up and meet him and be like, hey, you know what? I appreciate everything you've done. I'm even a DC fanboy, and you have to appreciate Stan I mean, yeah, Lee. Yeah. What I think I like most about him is that he's one of those people as a Marvel person that still respects the DC game. You know, a lot of these people on each side, there's some kind of <laughs> the company wars. Yeah, and and I think us fans push that more than the employees. I really don't think the employees see it how we do. I think they appreciate it, you know, going both ways. That hey, we need them, they need us. And mm-hmm. Stanley proved that at one point when they created the crossover. There were several crossovers. Experiencing technical difficulties. We will be back in one moment. Perseverance right. prevails. Sorry about that, guys. Back. Our From stupid our- computer trying to make me spend money. <laughs> Spend money on this. Come on now. Spend money when we can do it for free. To bring it to free for you guys, we've got to keep it free for us. You know what I'm saying? We've got to keep it free. Just got to keep it free. Uh, Anyways, so we spent some time on Stan Lee. We've talked about some of your anime stuff. We talked about your Gundam competition you're having. Yep. So now I want to talk... Oh, yeah, and I also talked about a fun little Easter egg from uh, Luke Luke Cage. Cage. So when you watch Luke Cage, look for that Back to the Future Easter egg. It's a newspaper article pop-up talking about a preacher and his friend... A preacher's son and his friend selling a car. Look for the uh, Marcus Brown, uh, or whatever it is, something brown. Dog uh, brown, or something. dog yeah. brown. So that's really cool. All right, so going to do a little bit of movie news and some video game news, and then we're probably going to close out with our loot crate. So 
do loot crates, we got, actually. We got something really cool for you guys because we're going to do a... We refilled a loot crate box with some cool horror stuff. And we're going to show you a Halloween giveaway we're going to be doing. So uh, make sure you're sharing with your friends because the more people you share with, the faster we grow, uh, the more chances you have to win. So make sure you're doing that, guys. We want to grow. Um, I also have some uh, giveaway stuff I want to show you guys that we're going to be doing uh, as well. Once we hit 200 subscribers on Facebook, I'm going to be giving a Super Nintendo game away. Some it old is styles. old school uh, Justice League video game. And with that, you will be getting Superman. Uh, it's from Superman All-Star. It's Grant Morrison. It's one of my all-time favorite Superman stories. You will be also winning that. As you can tell, it's in, you know, pretty great shape. Mint. You know, I, I well, would say mint. I would say mint, for we have, sure. You would have to call it near mint because it's not, oh, in, yeah, it's not in the package. It's not in the package, so. Um, and we also signed a... Right here. This is actually a poster we used on set. Me and Lester both signed it. So we're going to throw that in the giveaway as well. Uh, so that's going to be for 200 viewers on our 200 followers on Facebook. So there's oh. that. And we're also on Twitter now, Nico at Nico Poop Scoop. And so on Twitter, we're going to also be giving uh, doing a giveaway uh, for 100 followers on Twitter. We are only at 26 right now, so we really need to grow on Twitter. Uh, so I'm going to give a fairly rare comic that's. Uh, it's one of my favorite Magneto stories, and it's actually Magneto number zero, uh, and it's actually just special edition strictly for, it's a Magneto storyline, which is really cool. All cool. you comic book collectors, if you're missing that edition. Gotta get it. It's, it's really cool. Uh, we will also be giving away the Uncanny X-Men on regular Nintendo. Which you can also use on the future. And yes, it's coming out soon. No, 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 no. Not true. They made it so small you can't play regular games. It's just going to be the 30. Oh! Right? right? It's just going to be the 30 that comes with it. But I did send Nintendo a note. I think they need to come out with the mini NES 2.0 yeah. that has the game store on it. Oh. Okay. That way you could download. Because, uh, you know, if somebody doesn't want to go buy 3DS but they bought the regular Nintendo, mm -hmm. why not give them access to buying all the other Nintendo games? Right. Uh, plus, Nintendo, you make money. Give me a call. I'll come work for you. Don't worry about it. We will also be giving away this cool... Um, Hail Hydra pin, uh, which was actually a Loot Crate giveaway, uh, and it's an EFX collectible. Um, they actually used, now this is just a copy of it, it's not actually one that was used, but these were actually used on the uh, oh, Agents set. of S.H.I.E.L.D. set. Mm -hmm. So, uh, or actually, uh, the first Captain America's. Uh, Medicus? Movie. Yeah, Captain America's. <laughs> the the non-Latino version. Um, <clears throat> so, those are, that's our Facebook giveaway and our Twitter, uh, Twitter. Twitter giveaway. But we're also going to be doing a cool Halloween giveaway. We'll get to that here in a moment. I want to talk about uh, some news. Um, oh, since it's October, guess what's coming out this Friday, people? All you indie lovers of everything that loves stuffed teddy bears. That in horror. You. In horror! Can't beat that. Five Nights at Freddy. Sister Location comes out October 7th. It's not that far away. I'm actually looking forward to actually checking it out. Satan approves. <laughs> I'm, I actually personally don't like playing it because I get too much anxiety and I probably won't even be able to get past through night two. I've only played the first one and I have beat it one time, but Foxy on night five is just almost impossible. So horrendous. <laughs> literally the time I won, uh, I had 1% left on my battery. Yeah. So like I got... Super lucky. There was no reason I should have won that game. So, Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> Sister Location. Check it out. My shirt makes it look like I have man boobs, but it's muscles. No, not really. It's fat. Um, it's all, it's so, all uh, let's get into some Batman news. Uh, first off, coming up on October 10th, limited release, uh, Batman Return of the Caped Crusader. So, you'd have to look and make sure that if your theater's having it. Uh, but like I said, that's October 10th, and it's really cool because Adam West will be voicing Batman again, and it will be bringing back some of the classic designs of Penguin, Riddler, and yes, the Adam Weist Batman. Weist. So, uh, and Adam also, um, I guess the voice of Joker actually sounds a lot like Cesar Romero, so that's really cool. Um, they're mm -hmm. really going to bring back that classic 
ba- 1960s, 1960s Batman vibe. That's really cool. Uh, but Adam West will be uh, <coughs> voicing, and Burt Ward will actually be back uh, voicing. They're, I think they're... I don't know exactly how they're going to do his voice, but uh, that's pretty exciting for me because Burt Ward was the played Robin. Oh. So... <laughs> Little bit of Batman news there. This is a metallic. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a metallic. Also, the rumors on the Batman VR game. Uh, most people are thinking these VR games are only going to last about, you know, 25 to 30 minutes, but this one's actually going to be fairly long. It's a two and a half hour campaign. So to be able to complete a VR, you know, two and a half hours, that's probably a couple sittings. I don't know many people that's going to sit in VR world for two and a half hours. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you might pop some Dramamine or something because you're going to get motion sick <laughs> at, at some point. But uh, I would definitely uh, recommend um, preparing for the long haul on that. Yeah. So that's exciting because a lot of people, you think of VR, it's like a roller coaster. You're going to be sitting there doing your thing for, mm-hmm. um, I think a lot of people imagined we'd be getting kind of like a House of the Dead remakes, stuff like that because on the rail shooters. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I don't think we're going to get that. I think uh, a lot of I think they could do some interesting thing with walking. Like if you have the two wands for the PlayStation VR, mm-hmm. you know, walking can kind of be you know you're to be waving your arm back and forth. And yeah. though your fat ass can be sitting down, you can be standing up and be power walking all over the world. So that's something that could be <laughs> super interesting. Uh, that's pretty cool news <clears throat> on the VR front. Also, sorry Microsoft fans, but if you're looking for the VR edition of Resident Evil 7, PlayStation will be getting a full year exclusive with the VR edition of Resident Evil 7. So if you want to play Resident Evil 7, you're going to have to get the non-VR edition. Wah, wah. For people like me who have both systems, I don't care. I don't know that I'm going to spend $600 on VR. I'm probably going to wait for the price to come down on that. I think $400, actually. Wait for the price to come down on that. But uh, Yeah, that's still too expensive. You know, my wife... <laughs> I've talked her, tried to talk her into VR, but she gets motion sick in a car, so I don't know. So let's not do that. That's anything that's going to be possible <laughs> for her. Um, so that's some Batman news and some VR news. Uh, coming out this month overseas, the new Shin Godzilla movie. Oh, one yeah. we talked about, yeah. which, you know, Japan's bringing back. Japan's like, Jamaica can't do that. We can. In I heard, Gareth Edwards did a interview not too long ago where he talked about what would be really cool to see this American Godzilla versus the uh, Shin Godzilla. There, there he did like a really. They did a movie. where they made fun of our American yeah. one, kicked its ass. So like it was fight. It's like a five second fight, like where their well, Godzilla, well, and it was, was it? from the 1998 Godzilla movie where yeah. she looks like a dinosaur rather yeah. than. Then yeah, that, that was actually pretty, that was actually pretty yeah. funny. And it was funny because if you watch that movie, the Battle of the Godzilla one, it's uh, these aliens come yeah. and they're going through like these hard drives and they see Godzilla, America, and then he's like, let's see what you could do, Godzilla. And then the Japanese Godzilla just completely rapes Dominates, him. yeah. <laughs> like, owns it so fast. Um, <laughs> so that, that's, oh, that, was, that was pretty damn funny. Yeah, that, that was probably the most basic I've um, seen. For comic book fans, there's a Max Steel movie that's coming out, uh, which uh, Max Steel originally was a cartoon in a comic book. Uh, it's the origin story of Max McGrath, uh, who has an alien companion, Steel, who must harness combine their tremendous new powers to evolve into the superhero Max Steel. Um, I don't know the exact, I don't know if it's going to be a wide release, but October 14th, yeah, October 14th, nationwide. I'm not hearing many people talk about it, which is not a good sign. Yeah. Now, usually, even BVS, who people bash the shit out mm-hmm. of, you still heard about that for a year leading up to it. Yeah. So, I, I, I'm... Well, hey, we covered it. We talk about it. You know, we bring <laughs> you guys the underground, you know? We give you guys something that's never talked about. Yeah, so I think Max, I think it's going to be better than... Kind of like Chronicle... A lot of people don't know what that is. Michael B. Jordan, before he ever dressed up as, you know, the human flame. Oh. (laughs) The human torch. He was, it was a unknown, three guys come across this alien rock egg thing, and they get these telepathic and supernatural powers. Mm -hmm. And uh, really good story. I think Max still is underground enough that if people give it a chance, would really like it. So, um, and then... In other movie news, Inferno, which is the third movie uh, with uh, Tom Hanks reprising his role 
in uh, follow up to Dante's Inferno, yeah. Angels and Demons. That yeah, that reminds me. I was gonna go check out that movie, um, Magnificent Seven, because I should. Oh, it looks really good. I love Chris Pratt because um, uh, I actually did enjoy the the drama series. Yeah, the nineteen ninety whatever drama series. I, that actually inspired me like. I want to be a cowboy because of that. Yeah, they're talking about making an anime of it. Japan wants to do a mini <laughs> anime, so. Oh, no. <laughs> so I, I think with that movie, how they, you know, they brought in, there's uh, an Asian. They brought, they brought in all cultures. African Americans, yeah. Hispanics, uh, uh, Native hey, man, Americans. Denzel Washington. Yeah, right? Like, that's really cool. And that's not something we've really seen in a lot of the Magnif Magnificent Seven stuff before. So, yes, it is a remake, but it looks really good. And like I said, I love Chris Pratt. He's one of my... Uh, favorite actors probably of all time for this year if not I, I, I loved him in Guardians of the Galaxy mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy uh, I loved him in Parks and Recreation before he even got really big that's the series that got yeah. you know, pretty much started for him so until, until he started to tone up and become like this hot actor I don't right know like every and the girls love him obviously <laughs> alright some video game news other than Five Nights at Freddy's October 4th the new Warhammer comes out um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Campaign will be on pre-order October 5th for PS4. I totally forgot about Mafia 3. Uh, Mafia 3 comes out October 7th. Paper Mario Color Splash will come out on Wii U, which is the new Paper Mario, which is a pretty uh, pop popular series. Dude, like, Paper Mario is actually really good. Yes, uh, I really like it. Um, and one of my games that I've looked for all year, Gears of War 4, uh, <laughs> comes out, you know, I've... October 11th is when it comes out, and I've really been looking forward to it. I'm a huge Gears of War fan. Those are really close dates. Yeah, and the fact, that, yeah, right. Like instead of it just being on one day, like it's those one right are, after those another. Those are all really close dates if you think about it. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, today's the second, so we're yeah, because like, it's, most it's of that the stuff. fourth, and then the seventh, mm -hmm. and then the eleventh. Dude, those are really close days. Those are all relatively close days. For Minecraft fans, uh, Dragon Quest Builders comes out uh on ps4 and vita on october 11th which is a lot like minecraft but if you're an rpg fan it brings them the dragon quest characters and enemies and the blobs and remember we talked about the slime yeah and stuff like the that iconic slime. and uh the building block fort building castles and stuff look a lot like minecraft it's minecraft and dragon quest mixed together which is really cool, That's cool. um the upgraded version of Batman Return to Arkham will be on PS4 and Xbox One October 18th. The upgraded version. Uh, Battlefield 1 comes out October 21st. And I think another one I'm really looking forward to other than Titanfall 2 is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, which comes out uh, October 25th. Now, I have to talk about it. These are all relatively good games. I'm a Final Fantasy month. fan. Oh, yeah. So, World of Final <laughs> Fantasy originally came out, I think it was just on DS, a 3DS, right? For when it first Fantasy. came out. I don't remember that one. Um, in Japan, I think it was just 3DS, and then they finally brought it to Vita and PS4. But World of Final Fantasy comes out October 25th, so I am going to be very busy this month with video games. So you will be. I won't. He's still on his year of not buying video games, which <laughs> I just don't. He picked the worst year to ever do that. Um, Why me? <laughs> so and now before we get into the give last giveaway. Just a couple of rumors and news uh, tidbits for video game stuff. Supposedly Red Dead Redemption will have a remaster coming in 2017. The announcement should be imminent. I'm, I'm guessing, you know, in the next two, three weeks we'll hear something about that. Oh, you know what I'm looking forward to for 2017? The last and final Resident Evil movie. Yeah, yeah. Because I think it's it's a series that's gotten better. You know, a lot of people really bashed at the beginning. <clears throat> it's a series that actually got better as it progressed. Yeah, yeah I'm really looking forward to it. Now, you know how we bash the PS4 Go. Yeah. Or Neo. PS4 Go, whatever the fuck Whatever it is going to be called. Uh, the Slim that's coming out is actually reported to support 5 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi. So the fastest Wi-Fi. So there's actually something really cool coming out with the Slim where I think that Slim will actually be better than Scorpio. Because I think Scorpio just has the 2.4 gigahertz, yeah. gig gigahertz. Uh, Wi-Fi, so. so good for you, Sony. So that's one thing, Sony. I think um, that's what, might that, be doing that's a little bit one, better. That's one redemption point that you get. And then two more things, and then we'll get into this last giveaway. I'm a huge Splinter Cell fan. Michael Ironside is rumored to come come back for um, the next Splinter Cell series mm -hmm. game. So that's really cool. And sad news for Dead Island fans: the Steam page has now been Dead Island Two Steam page has been deleted. 
And now there's so the cancellation rumors have resurfaced. Oh no! So Dead Island Two <laughs> most likely a uh, no go, guys. Oh, so man. sorry to give you that news. But uh, enough about the sad stuff. We'll get into this last giveaway, and then we'll show you guys our loot crate of the it's month. That so. time of the month. It's that time. And we're not talking about month. periods. No periods no. today, but it's the time of the This month. is going to be our October giveaway for Halloween. Uh, I didn't know this, this, is, this is... No, we're going to do the giveaway first. Do the giveaway first. Oh, giveaway first. Okay. Giveaway first. It's the other time of the month. So, here in about two weeks, month. we'll be doing a giveaway for this. We we'll, might do something live where we actually, you know, people will just pick somebody off the site or something. I haven't figured out how we're going to do it. But we'll show you the stuff that we're going to be giving away if Lester stops dancing with it and shows you the stuff inside of it. All right, so... so. Since it is October, 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 we have for you ha! a fist full of Hellboy. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't get perverted, guys. Don't get perverted. <laughs> it's just a bank. It's for money. It's just a fist full of money. Ha! Fist full of money. Fist full of dollars. All right. So next, we also got something from Loot Crate. These slash and bites. Stickers, deal cows, and whatnot. Zombie deal cows. So you, you can you can be like, I got the bits about zombies. I got zombies for Halloween. You know, I'm hairy, so I'd have to shave my arm. No. <laughs> but uh, also, we are giving away our one of our mascots of our nerdiness. We are giving away Predator from the Alien vs Predator game. Woo. Our movie. Okay. And we also have a couple Walking Dead things. Some Walking Dead, little what is the, just, a, just a poster, right? That's yeah, that's a little postcard where that's when Merle finds his brother, and it's a little chibi version of it, so <laughs> it's real fun. And then we also got a really old pin from 2014. It's actually a Loot Crate pin that has zombies and stuff on it, so we thought we'd throw that in there. Horror. You know, we try and support Loot Crate as much as possible because Loot Crate gives a lot of cool giveaway stuff Horror. away, but. Uh, and now for the final piece of the resistance. In my favorite part. So, for all you Daryl fans, do you remember when he walked around with human ears around his neck? <laughs> this is human ear soap on a rope. Yes, you heard me right. Soap on a rope. Daryl's been to jail a couple times. He doesn't want to drop his soap. So, uh, so soap on a rope made of ears. Yes. If you think about it, you could use this for your Halloween costume. Yeah, just like that'd be pretty <laughs> kick-ass add to it. So, and then you just add these little stickers on you too. Woo! Just get a wife beater, get like a vest that you could tie around, some jeans, some boots, a crossbow, and those ears around your neck. That's just a real simple Daryl. Uh, Daryl esque costume. So I think this year for Halloween, if I don't work Halloween, which I'm pretty sure I am going to work Halloween. I plan on like just actually not staying at home and giving candy. I'm going to buy about maybe three bags of candy and walk around to each trick or treater and just giving them candy instead. Like pass out candy. Are you gonna dress up? Yeah, I'm gonna dress yeah. up. I have no idea who I'm gonna dress up as. Stay tuned for Halloween edition where I might come dressed up. Yes. So, anyways, that's a Halloween giveaway we're going to do, uh, pre-Halloween, actually. So, make sure you share with your friends, let them know we got three really cool giveaways. One for 200 members on Facebook. One for 100 followers on Twitter, at NinkumPoopScoop.com. Not, not .com, just at NinkumPoopScoop, because that's how Twitter works. And then we got the Halloween one that we're just going to pick somebody off of our Facebook page, or our Twitter page. Or we'll just do both. We'll just combine the names of both. I don't know how that would work, but we'll figure it out. Of course, we'll, we'll just siphon it all out. Anyways, now it's time for... We'll pick a winner. We'll, 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 we'll pick a winner. And now my favorite part of the month, Loot our Loot Crate unboxing. We've, we found some pretty cool stuff from... Well, we try not to spoil it too much for ourselves. Oh, but yeah. But first thing that Kevin first picks... Thing, we'll let you share it with the world. It is a Battlestar Battle Galactica, Galactica Cylon Raider four and four inch and a half Scar Titan. Pretty sure our lighting is like terrible right now. This is pretty freaking cool. Well, yeah. Um, I was gonna get into the series though, but like, it kind of just dragged on really bad, and I kind of just fell out of the series. 
of like not trying not to watch like not watching it, but like it looked really interesting for from what I from what I was looking at. This might be one of the coolest giveaways they've ever done. Is that Quicksilver? No, that no it's uh, the Flash, but it's a real legit magnetic hood ornament. <laughs> like, it actually magnetizes on your car, and that is kick ass. I know what you can do. You can just custom paint it as the Flash. Right. Like, but I think cause make it whole... black Flash. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so that's cool. Uh, pretty cool hood ornament. Like legit hood ornament. What is what is this? What is this month's of uh, or this month is automotive. Is it speed, cause speed is key. We got that from Jack What's funny is I was really thinking when I saw that it was speed. I thought there'd be something speed racer in here, but there's not. Uh, they got a uh, Eleanor from Gone in sixty seconds. Gone in sixty seconds car vehicle, the Eleanor. That's really cool. And the best part of all, who doesn't want? A Batman keychain. Batman keychain. That's like the second Batman keychain they gave away. The last one, it was a bottle, beer, screwdriver. Yeah. Like all of that. So. Well, it's already done. Well, let's open this up. People, so he's gonna open that up. Pe while he's doing people that. cannot see through un unshaven plastic. Ah. Dude. Which 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 one would you think this is from? This is the Batwing. Like which it one? It is the Batwing. Um, like, like which one? That looks like the. From, <laughs> I want. I want to say it's the. Um, uh, I think it's from Batman Returns. The, um, the original. The the one with the nipples. No, 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 no. If it's that <laughs> one, I'll be sad. <laughs> and last but not least, a Stark Industries. Because if people remember from Iron Man Two, he actually races in the Grand Prix. Yeah, he so, actually does. That's just pretty cool. Stark Motorsports. So that is the. Uh, this month's giveaway. This is actually our uh, loot crate. So, oh yeah, and here's the pin. The pin, basically yes. Goodyear's tire. So, guys, go get loot crate. We're not supported by them. They don't pay us anything. But I am just such a big fan of it. I really think it's something worth checking out. It is actually worth checking out. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff, and we're able to give you guys uh, any duplicates we get and stuff like that. We're able to throw in giveaways, so you guys can thank loot crate for that as well. But anyways, I think that is today's edition of Nink and Poop Scoop. I'm Kevin. Lester. And uh, I think that's going to be it for the day. Thank you guys. 200 followers on Facebook. Giveaway. 100 followers on Twitter at Nink and Poop Scoop. Giveaway. Don't forget. We'll talk to you all later.